Hey everyone, Rick at Word Search. In this video, I want to show you how to access your books and other items inside of the Word Search program. We're going to be focusing on six different methods to access your items inside of Word Search. If you'd like to fast forward to one of the specific sections of the video, please check out the information area right below the video for the timestamps on those sections. We're going to start with the Library tab, as that is my favorite way to access my materials inside of the program. The Library tab can be found next to the Study tab in the Tab menu area. In the top left hand corner is our main categories that are available inside of the Library tab. We have our Library Books, Bookmarks, Verse Lists, My Documents, and User Books. Beneath the main category area is the subcategories for the main categories. So if I'm looking at my library, I will see my library subcategories. If I'm looking at my bookmarks, I'll see my bookmark subcategories. Inside of the library, the first category available is All Categories. This will show you all of your books in alphabetical order. We'll talk more about using this section in just one moment. Below that is the Favorites category. The Favorites category will hold any books that you decide are your favorites. To add a book to your Favorites category, click on the star next to the book. A gray star means that it isn't a favorite, and a gold star means that it is a favorite. The Favorites section is great because it adds an easy place to find your favorite books for searching and reading. But as well it leaves the books in their regular category as well. Below Favorites is all of the library categories. Some of your categories will have a little black triangle on the left. By clicking on the black triangle, you can see subcategories beneath the main category. Some important ones to notice are the Commentaries folder, which does have commentaries divided into New or Old Testament commentaries, the Literature folder, which actually has no books in it, but all the books are in subcategories underneath the main one, and the Sermon Helps area, which has subcategories for illustrations, outlines, and sermons. Above the listing of books, you can choose whether you want to see your library in pictorial format or if you want list format. On the right hand side of the screen is the book filter. The book filter will allow you to find a book by title or author. This works really well in the all categories to find all books, but it can also be narrowed down to a specific category as well. For example, if I was looking for any book that had prayer in the title, I can type in prayer and look in the all categories for my hit results. I can also click just on commentaries to find the one commentary that has prayer in the title. You can also do this with an author's name, so I can find all of the books I own by Charles Spurgeon by just typing in Spurgeon. To open books on the study tab, you simply need to left click on a book or book title to open that book. If you have this box checked, the program will automatically jump to the study tab each time you open up a book. If you want to open up multiple books, you can uncheck it. Then as you click on each individual book, it will open on the study tab. Opening your previously made bookmarks, verse lists, word processing documents, and user books is done in the same manner. First click on the appropriate main category in the top left, the appropriate subcategory if needed below, and then single click on the item that you wish to open. The resource panel is another way that you can access your library and other user created items inside of Word Search. The resource panel has the same items available inside of it that the library tab does. The main difference is that it takes up space on your study tab. If you don't already have your resource panel turned on and you want to use it, you can turn it on inside of the settings area. First go into the options drop down menu and choose settings. In the books and windows section, put a check mark next to display resource window option and then click OK. The resource panel will now be available on the left hand side. The resource panel can be turned off in the same manner by unchecking the box. 
The resource panel will be on the left hand side and can be minimized by clicking on the push pin. When it is minimized it will hide on the left hand side and you can then re-access it by hovering over it with your mouse. If you want it to stay visible you will need to click on the push pin again. Inside of the resource panel our items are divided into different categories of library books, user books, favorites for your favorite book and bookmarks, documents and verse lists. Sections can be minimized by using the minimize button and closed using the close button. If you close a section of the resource panel and would like to bring it back, you can add sections back by using the show and hide resources button on the top. Any section with a check mark will appear inside of your resource panel. The resource panel, just like the library, has a filter at the top. You can type in a keyword of a title or an author's name to help you find items faster in the resource panel. So again, if I'm looking for a book with prayer in the title, I can just type in prayer. Or if I'm looking for all of my books by Charles Spurgeon, I can type in Spurgeon. Once I'm done with my filter, I will need to click on the X button to cancel out my filter. To open items from the resource panel, single click on any item and it will open in the appropriate window. Another way to access your materials inside of Word Search is through the Fast Open. The Fast Open can be found on the main icon toolbar. You can also use the shortcut key of F9 to open up the Fast Open pop up. Inside of the Fast Open, you can access your books, Bibles, documents, user books, and verse list. Type in part of the title, author, or name of your item, and it will appear on the list. Click on the item that you want to open and click OK. When opening items from your library tab, resource panel, or fast open, items will always open up in their appropriate window. For books and Bibles, that means books will naturally group with other books that are stored in the same category. So our Bible translations will all group together because they are stored in the Bible's category. But our handbooks won't go in that window naturally as our handbooks will go into a handbook window since they are stored in the handbooks folder. Included inside of the main icon toolbar are two buttons to help you quickly access your default Bible and your default commentary. If you don't see the Bible and commentary icons available on your toolbar, you can add them by going to the end of the toolbar and right clicking. It will bring up the settings area and allow you to put a check mark next to the Bible and the commentary so that those items will appear on your toolbar. Then anytime you need a Bible or a commentary window, you can use the buttons on the toolbar. Next to the Bible and the commentary buttons is a small down arrow that will allow you to set your default buttons. When choosing your default Bible translation, you should pick your favorite complete English Bible translation. When choosing your default commentary, you should pick your favorite commentary that covers the entire Bible, and it works best if it goes verse by verse. Some good examples are Adam Clark's, Bible Background, and the Bible Knowledge. You can also use Matthew Henry's or Jameson Fawcett Brown, which are both included in our free book downloads. Sometimes people try and use these down arrows to access any Bible translations or commentaries, but every time we change this arrow, it actually changes our default in other areas as well. So we don't want to use the down arrow unless we're changing our default Bible translation or our default commentary. One of the most efficient ways to access a lot of your books is through the carousels available in the Word Search program. There are three carousels in your program that you can set up to access your books. There is a Bible carousel available in your Bible window, a commentary carousel available in your commentary window, and a topical carousel available in any topical books like your illustrations, dictionaries, handbooks, and word study books. Carousels are located in the bottom left-hand corner of each window. The first button available is the cog button to set up your carousel. Next is the go to first button, which will take you to the first book in your carousel list. The last two buttons are the previous and next buttons that will allow you to cycle through the books inside of your carousel. 
You can also use the left and right arrows on your keyboard to cycle through your books. To learn more about the individual carousels and their setup, please check out the individual videos for Bible, Commentary, and Topical Carousel available on our YouTube page and in the information below the video. A final way to access your books is to use the Select Another Book button found in the Books and Bible toolbars. When clicked, it will give you a list of books that you can change your current window or tab to. All books listed will be similar to the book you already have open, so you can change a window or tab from the King James Version to the ESV, but you can't change the King James Version into a commentary. As you expand your library, these lists can get quite long, so clicking on the arrows at the top and the bottom to cycle through the list isn't always the most efficient. However, if you hover over the list with your mouse, you can use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to move through the list faster. If you'd like to learn more about the Word Search program, please check out our other tutorial videos. As well, please check out our free online training for more tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your Word Search 12 program. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.